the little turns have got a yellow beak with a, a black tip and a little white forehead as well. Turns in Welsh is more wennel, which is sea swallow, because they do bounce in the air and they hover around. But they're very small, they're only tennis ball size. And to think that on this site, which is now the largest little tern colony in the UK, we saw a ringed bird last year that may be 26 years old. And so it could be one of the oldest little terns that have been found in the world. So the little terns, they'll arrive, so it's the end of April, early May, and then they'll start nesting generally after the first high tide in the middle of May. So it's around the 18th of May each year. Then the female will lay two to three eggs, then they'll sit and it's around three weeks that she'll sit on the eggs. During that time, the male will go out and collect fish. Sand deal is their main food source, but they will eat shrimp and other fish during the other times of the year, but the young really thrive on sand deal. We're very fortunate in the deestry that sand deal population does seem to be very high in comparison to the rest of the UK, where they've had big declines. Climate change is a big worry for that because sand eels tend to like cold water the fencing is put up by volunteers. We rely heavily on volunteers. The first day we had 25 volunteers here putting posts in which are eight foot tall and wiring the top of the uh, electric fencing. We've got hide that we've put up now and a visitor centre and then all of this has to come down at the end of the season. During the season we've got volunteers that come down and help out the staff. We employ three little term wardens each year. They cover a huge rotor, so they cover every single day and that's to stop predators coming in, making sure the fencing's all up and correct and talking to visitors, stopping disturbance as much as possible. These birds are quite plucky as well. They'll chase off kestrels and peregrines which are ten times the size as them. They'll go after most predators just to protect their young. Their nest, well, we, we don't call it a nest because it's so basic. It's called a scrape. They just make a little small depression in the sand. They will sometimes line it with bits of shell and pebbles and they'll move those things around during the day and they'll move it at night as well. They'll spin round in their nest depending on the wind direction. They like to face the wind when they're sitting on their eggs, probably because they're a very streamlined bird and they can keep themselves warm by facing into the wind because the weather down here is extremely changeable. It tends to be windy all the time. Even on a nice sunny day, it can be in Prostatin or Rill and it's a lovely sunny day, very hot, and you get down to Gronin and you've got this constant breeze. But the rain comes across and they'll carry on sitting on these eggs and they'll just sit through it and nothing seems to phase them. Gronin's becoming more special over the time, which is quite surprising, you know, there are not many places like that. You tend to try and hold on to what you've got, but Gronin seems to be on the up. 